Hey folks, I know you're used to virtual reality, and this could lead to virtual reality in future videos, but today I'm going to talk to you about this. This is the Merge Cube by Merge Labs, and it's probably going to be one of the biggest toys this holiday season. The Merge Cube works with your cell phone, can also work with any other device that has a camera, so I could actually make it work with this same web camera that I'm using right now to produce augmented reality. The different codes on the sides of the Merge Cube, all six sides have different codes, allow you to interact with the cube in ways that you can't interact with just, well, this glass or this flash drive or this sumo wrestler. So we're going to launch things for Merge Cube, which is actually made by Merge Labs, the manufacturer of this little foam cube. And I'll show you a little bit about the magic of AR with the Merge Cube. So to start off, you scan the cube and you can really pick any side, I believe, but we're going to pick this side that says Merge. And as you can see right now, I'm holding the cube in front of me. And there's a menu here. Now, each of these items is a different thing on the menu. And when you turn the cube, there's even more of those things. Each side of the cube has different things. The top and bottom currently just have these circles. But let's pick a thing and let's see what it does. So we're going to start with the boom box. And tapping on the screen is what activates or launches an item. Yeah, an actual boom box. Cool. You know what? I'm not really feeling this song. So let's change our tune. That's a little better. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. All right. Yeah. So that's Merge Beats, uh, the boom box here. And again, the bottom's a nice smooth wood. The top has some buttons to interface with it. But otherwise, it's kind of a simple proof of concept toy. And that's really what all of these are. Uh, this next one, Piranha, is essentially a Pac-Man game. Or at least some form of munching game. Where the piranha munches on the sushi and you get a score. Now, if you start an account with the Merge Cube, you can actually save your high scores and things of that nature. Um, also, if the camera loses focus of the piranha, the cube just turns back into a cube and the gameplay kind of freezes until you resume you bring the cube back into the frame. So that's the general idea of the Piranha game. What if you just want to relax a bit? Well, you can also relax by hitting this launch button. And there's a fire. We're just hanging out by the campfire. Tapping the screen makes it kind of explode a bit. And that's pretty much it for this particular item. So as you can see, you can turn that fire. See the sunset in the background. It's a pretty cool rendered scene. Look at, at it from a top down perspective or look at it upside down like I had it earlier. 
Up next, we'll check out Trippy Cube, which is the last one from this side. There are four different sides. That is pretty trippy. It's kind of a kaleidoscope of sorts. And of course, because the cube is an actual object, I can move it closer or further away. I'm not sure what the range is. Let's see how far, if, it, if I extend my arm out all the way. Yeah, it still picks it up. That's cool. So we're done with this side. Let's move to the next side. We've got Poke Minion. Poke Minions to watch his silly reactions. So I've got a little minion here. There's a silly reaction, all right. And I think that's actually it. Yeah. So, not much to this one. Let's see if I put it far away and hit the button. No. If, um, it, the cursor has to be on him or else he won't do that. So that one's kind of short but sweet. But you can see the animation is pretty well done on that. Fruit Slice is another one that's... I was hoping it would be something like Fruit Ninja. Instead, it's take a slice out of the fruit. Ninja. And it's always the same slice. It doesn't matter where you slice it from. That same slice is going to fall out. So again, these are mostly proofs of concept. This one in particular, this is a free title. So don't expect it to be a huge, awesome undertaking. But it gives you a good idea of the potential. So this is fireworks. And that, that was indeed a firework. Let's see if we turn the cube a little. That's our grand finale for tonight. <laughs> so, let's see, what else do we have here? The Octopet, okay. Hatch and play with your own alien creek. Critter. Okay. So we got an egg right now. Yep, that is definitely an egg. Kind of a celestial box. What happens if we break the glass? Hello! Cute little alien critter. Seems happy. <coughs> so we've hatched an alien creature. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Up next, we can be the ruler of our own miniature kingdom. I'm going to set the cube down for this one. So there's a castle. And you can see kind of a backdrop on all the sides of the castle. And when you turn it, you notice that backdrop moves around the castle too. Which is pretty awesome. I thought that was really cool. So back to the front of the castle. We click on it. It's just like Disneyland. We got some fireworks. We can view those fireworks from any side. Including top down. Which is pretty cool. Again, these are just simple concepts. It is a free sampler platform, essentially. This one's really fun. Again, just a sample, so it's not super involved gameplay, but you're a starfighter, and it kind of gives you a trench to run through.
feels a bit like Star Wars. And this one's got some gameplay, it's got a soundtrack, it's got sound effects. But something it doesn't have is a score. The other thing it doesn't really have is something that's not repetitive as gameplay. So, Up next is Boxopolis. This one, you're holding a mini city. So it's similar in a lot of ways to one of the other titles we looked at earlier uh, with the castle. But this one, you've got a city. You can kind of zoom in on the city, of course. It's not the greatest graphically. But as you turn the cube, of course, you've got different buildings, different sides of the cube. It's pretty cool. So I could see that turning into something pretty awesome. This sampler here is a slot machine. And it's fully functional. We won the jackpot! I hope every time doesn't win the jackpot. No. Cool. So we just got lucky the first time. I'm in the augmented reality money. So let's take a look at a couple more here. I think we've just got one side left. Very simple, jack-in-the-box. There he is, popped out of the jack-in-the-box. The flexi cheese is pretty underwhelming. You're stretching the cheese, and it snaps back. And you can do that on all the sides of the cheese. It's basically just a sound effect and a little bit of a spring action. And that's it. There's, there's really nothing else to that one. Pirate Island. You're looking through a spy spyglass and trying to avoid the pirates. Found some treasure. Fire. Oh no! I shouldn't have tried to take the pirate's treasure away from me. Oops. Fire. If you look here, you can see the front of the spyglass. But I think we just have one more. I'm just going to go around the sides just to make sure. Yeah, we're almost to the end of today's video. We're going to look at Hollow Body, the last one here. And this one's pretty impressive. We got a skull with all the different bones. And again, I, I was covering one of the symbols up here, but you can turn that skull too. So this is cool if you're like an early anatomy student or even a grade school student and want to learn more about the human body. You can also switch to the heart. And again, you can turn the heart in all directions to learn the different parts of the heart. And so that is a quick first look at the merge cube. Again, that's what this is right here in front of me, the merge cube. It's pretty magical.
when I take it out of focus? It's just a cube. So the Merge Cube is currently available, I think exclusively at Walmart for $15. Um, it just came out this week. Kids might like it. You might want to experiment. It works with both iOS and Android devices. I'll put some information about the Cube and the website you can check out to download applications for the Merge Cube in the description for this video. Next time, I have a couple of other Merge Cube apps. I'm not going to feature them all week or anything of that nature, but the next time I go into the Merge Cube, I'm actually going to show you there's a, a VR mode as well where you can use a Merge VR headset or any other mobile VR headset to check out uh, kind of a different perspective of some of the experiences that are available for the Merge Cube. Currently, there's around 9 or 10, just a handful of applications available but they're pretty cool so far. Um, like I said, I think it's really more of a fun toy for children. Keep them occupied. Um, but for $15, it's kind of a fun thing to experiment with. So hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR or some AR for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.